please subscribe to our channel and for latest update click on the bell icon hi children today we are going to look at mass what is mass weight of some object like sugar dal rice anything weight it can be even sand anything the weight of something so we are going to look at and it is measured in grams and kilogram and we are going to see addition subtraction word problems in mass okay we already know 100 1000 grams 1000 gram make 1 kilogram so when we measure mass we talk about kilograms and grams and in that addition subtraction word problem we will look into it as we do we learn so mass what is mass what is mass that's what we are going to see first when we say mass we talk about mass of an object i mean weight of an object we mean quantity how much of rice 5 kg 300 g how much of dal 1 kg 200 g how much of rice so when we talk about mass of an object we talk about the weight weight is measured in kilograms and grams okay so kilograms 1000 what all what we need to remember is 1000 grams 1000 gram and the short form of gram is g 1000 gram is equal to 1 kilogram all right 1 kilogram okay now gram okay that is g and here so what we say when we say gram the short form is g kilogram we say k g all that we need to remember is 1000 grams equal to 1 kg so when we are talking about mass weight of an object we weight in kilograms and grams now we are going to find the sum i going to give you couple of sums and we going to work together find the sum addition when you say sum addition find the sum when you talk about finding the sum we are talking about addition all right addition all right now i have a sum for you 32 kg and 11 kg we're going to add 32 kg and 11 kg so that's your first sum the first sum that you're given is 32 kg and 11 kg so we're going to add that that's the first sum now we have to place it in order we got to put we have to place the numbers in order so 32 32 we are going to add okay 32 kg plus 11 kg and we see what answer we'll get all right addition we are going to add 32 kg and 11 kg all right now 2 plus 1 is 3 And for three plus one is four, 
So 32 kilograms and 11 kilograms make 43 kilograms. That is our answer. 43 kilograms and that's our answer. Alright? Now we have take another sum. Another sum B. We have here 45 kilogram. 45 kilogram. And, and 13 kilogram. 13 kilogram. We have to add 45 and 13 kilogram and see what we get. First thing we are going to do, arrange in order. All right. 45. 45 kilogram and 13 kilogram. So, you arrange one below the other and then we put the addition sign and add. Alright? And let's see. 5 plus 3. What is 5 plus 3? 8. Very good. 8 kilogram. 4 plus 1? 5. Always start adding from the right to the left and right here kilogram and that is our answer. Look at that. 5 plus 3, 8. 4 plus 1, 5. 2 plus 1, 3. 3 plus 1, 4. So we, we have done two sums to help us through. Now, another sum. Alright. We will do a couple of sums more together. Okay. Now, the next sum that I have for you is 500 grams, 250 grams, and 350 grams, we have to find the sum of all. Okay, that's the third sum. The third sum says 500 grams, okay, 250 grams, all right, and, and 350 grams. So, we have three lots here. Now we are going to arrange the sum in order. Alright. All our grams. First. So you put down first 500 grams. Then you put down 250 grams. Then finally we have 350 grams. Alright, we got all the three in order. Now, what are we doing? We are finding the sum. Sum means addition. Put the addition sign. Alright. Now, remember when we add up all the grams, if we get more than 1000 and then it becomes a kilogram and the remaining becomes gram. Now, let's do it carefully. Now, zero in, for the first place, we all have zero. Addition start from right to left. So, all 0, so you put 0, now you have 0 here and 5 and 5, 5 plus 5 is 10, so you put 0 here, the 1 you put down carry over to your left, now you have 5 plus 1 is 6, 6 plus 2 is 8, 8 plus 3 is 11, so 8 plus 3 is 11, so, we have 1, 1, 1,100 grams. Now, now what is our answer? Our answer is, you will write it down as answer. You have to split and write. Answer is 1 kilogram because 1,000 grams make 1 kilogram. So, our answer is 1 kilogram and 100 grams. You get that? Now this is our answer. 1 kilogram and 100 grams. Alright. So we have added all the grams and if it counts up to more than 1000, 1 becomes kg and the remaining grams. So we have done total of 3 sum. Now let's do one more sum. To help us through. I have here 159 grams, 
159 grams. Then we have 100 grams. 100 grams. And 300 grams. And 300. 300 grams. So we have three numbers. 159 grams, 100 grams and 300 grams. What is the first thing we do? Arrange it in order. First, 159 gram, 100 grams, then 300 grams. Now we put them all in order now. We are going to find the sum. So, we put the addition sign. We are going to add all this. Okay. Now, in the first place, we have 9, 0 and 0. So, 9 plus 0 plus 0 is 9 we have. In the second place, we have 5. And the next two are 0. So, you get 5. And in the last place, we have 3 plus 1, 4 plus 1, 5. So, 559, that's our answer, okay? 559 grams, that's our answer, all right? Now, we have, what we have done now is, we are working with mass, weight, weight of any object. Let it be rice or dal or anything. Any grain we are weighing and that is given in kilograms and grams. Now, we are finding 1 kilogram is 1000 grams. Now, we have done 4 sum. The first sum, it says find the sum of 32 kilogram and 11 kilogram and that is 43 kilogram. Second one, 45 kilogram and 13 kilogram is 58 kilogram. And here you have all grams. 500 gram plus 250 gram plus 350 gram gives us 1100 gram which is 1 kilogram and 100 gram. 1 kilogram and 100 grams. We have to split it. In the next, last sum we have finding the sum of 159 gram, 100 grams and 300 grams if we arrange. 159 plus 100 plus 300 grams make 559 grams. We learn to add in kilograms and grams.